Uh, if you want, I can also. Let's see, yeah. If Lottie. you want, I can also put them in order. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. If you want the transcriptions. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a. Oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work, but we we will do it. <laughs> if you can put the if you can put the files, it, the audio files, in a Google Drive, it will be not too much work. Oh. Yeah, the audio files, you see. Yeah, that's a good idea too. That's a good idea too. Do, do, you, do, do you think you, do you I have a lot of free minutes? We can yeah, use. because Laurie has had a lot of experience doing this, right, Laurie? And uh, with Kiko Lab. And do you think that it's better to, to only to put uh -huh. the audio files and uh, not, not to upload uh, this video that we're doing here? The video. The video? Do you think yeah. that it's better only to work with the audio files in a podcasting podcast, let's say, a version of it? Um, no, not necessarily. It's just um, for Otter, for the transcription, it's better to have the audio files. I mean, one thing we did with Picolab, and uh, we were working with Vincent with Trove to... Um, basically put each day up um like each session we'd have the video available the transcript the um i did a wrap for each time so you could go back through each session and get all of those materials one thing i think might be important is to actually go back through the material and sessions and see what we think um was what we agree or what individually or as a group, what was the essence of the session and what did we learn? What did we come out with? What was the significance? Yeah, I think that's great. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, we, I think that you, you're not going to be able to do this with me, right? Because you are moving, right? As I understood. Uh, you, you, you're, you're uh, I'm just super slow. I'm So I'm going to be... Um, going to the states uh, i'm in france i'm going to be going to the states on october 18th so it's just kind of uh, until then it's be um yeah yeah okay. well uh i think that uh, I, can, I think that we uh, both of us gb we can find a way to uh to have a, a, a not a transcript right uh, but we can summarize a little bit the, the accents of each touchdown, right? And uh, uh, I, I can do one, you do two. Uh, we, can, we can divide this a little bit. We, we don't need a hush. We don't need to. Yeah. Hush. We can do this. Why don't we, maybe, why don't we take a couple days and do this all together? I think that would be, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In what sense? I didn't, I didn't understand. We take a couple of days. Uh, I didn't understand what you, you mean for that. Oh, so take a couple of days. Take a couple of our Friday sessions. And instead of talking more, we just rehash what we've done. Yeah, and, work. Oh, and oh yeah. Do the work. Yeah, let's do some work. Like have work a few parties. working sessions. Yeah. Great, great, Laurie. We can do. We can, when you when yeah. you keep talking and don't like uh, process the material, it's like. You know, yeah. um, total. Uh, actually, yeah, we, we, yeah. We, we could start today if you want. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I know that you, 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 you have a little time because you are in a dentist, but we could start today this work party. I don't know what you guys think of it. Uh, we, we start next. Okay, next this, is, this is how I might do it, um, Vinicius. Um, you have the, the Zoom files, right? The. Um, Oh, I think I have the password um, to the Zoom thing, but it would really help me with my time constraints if you if you made up a Google folder and put in all the audio files together. That way I can batch process them. So when we process them, we can more easily read each session and link to the transcript as well. Wow, that's great. I'll do this. I'll do this. I will do this with the People Spring account. Okay? I will do the, okay. the, 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 the People Spring drive. drive. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do this today. <laughs> I'll do this today. It, it's okay for me. Uh, hey, Sam, are you here, man? Sam is here. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know how long I'll be able to jump in. I'm, I was kind of taking up <laughs> listening a little bit passively, but happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, man. Happy Friday. <laughs> yeah. We're just talking here, Sam, that we're going to start making some work parties at Fridays, not only not only touchdown. We have a lot of work to do yeah. because there's a lot of good material that we can uh, extract, let's say, in a good manner <laughs> uh, from the touchdowns. And uh, it's going to serve as content, as, base, as a base for us uh, to better refine all, uh, all our actual understanding, right? All our actual understanding. Uh, well, that's it. I think that that's that's the the, the gist of it. We, we were talking about this when, when you just stepped in, okay? So uh, it's going to be nice, Sam, if you want to come to us this work parties too. We're going to do let's let's say we do one touchdown or two touchdowns, or two or we do touchdowns as we we see that it's necessary to do touchdowns, and we do work parties too. Yeah. To cream up or cream down, I don't know. <laughs> All this material, uh, but but we're not only going to do that. We're going to start to doing the the wealth sharing sharing thing and the wealth transfer thing, uh, starting uh, with Photopia, right? And uh, and TV. I think that uh, in this next week we're going to have uh, 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 a meeting with uh with the guys over utopia with my co-creators on utopia like florian that you already know right and others mm -hmm. and it's going to be nice and sam you are invited as Laurie is invited too so uh Laurie, we don't need to see the mouth your mouth <laughs> it's really interesting how Laurie gives us a ride everywhere she goes <laughs> I, I, mm -hmm. I i already already known the outskirts of 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 <laughs> of Paris because she likes to walk over there. We already know mm -hmm. all all the rooms in her house. It's really interesting. Well, <clears throat> now the dentist. <laughs> well, that's it. So, uh, so TB, uh, why don't you, man, give us uh, a little uh, quick ride of a little summar summarizing, let's say, from last week uh, touchdown. And what we really start evolving uh, from there to now, and uh, and put Sam. I, I, I don't remember if Sam was with us. Are you? Were you with us uh, last week, Sam? I, I don't remember, man. I don't think so. Uh, I was not. No, no, no you're I don't not. think so. Yeah, you were not. Yeah. So it's going to be nice to if TB is really aware, <laughs> if he can <laughs> summarize a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Um, well, I remember the end mostly because we were talking about um, different ways to share within uh, within our networks um, and. Um, one of the things to share was finances and uh what was uh, uh lauren she was, she was asking about um sort of um something about people getting together to um help each other do stuff so so i gave the the example of that that's what i remember <laughs> this is my perspective i give the example of um community services and uh and what uh, i proposed for some sort of the, the funding community services and stuff like that um, and, so, and, so I what said, I, and i said that was nice to call community backing right and yes uh, yes community backing yeah yeah um so then uh, the exploration is uh, can can we create community services among among different uh, different organizations, different networks, um, and these are like people that are embedded in different communities come together as a team and form a service um, that they provide not just to their community but to the entire ecosystem. So you move to ecosystem services. 
um, and these these are these are this is these are this is backing or help that um, requires specialized skills and uh, requires some some <clears throat> working together, you know, some team formation. Um, and um, we also discussed about um, um, going towards um, what um, Vinicius is practicing in. Uh, Brazil, which is um, <clears throat> um, using disposable income, um, making available disposable, disposable income for people that need. And so uh, one idea was that if we have some community s services or, or backings or at the level of ecosystem, we could uh, we could think about rules to um, capture a portion of whatever is generated and um, and and move it to some wallets that are um, wallets that are made at the disposal of at, at the um, let's say made available for people that need <clears throat> in this kind of peer-to-peer -peer fashion. And what was interesting was that um, there was this uh, oh maybe I mixed two uh, meetings. But um, also discuss the architecture of these kind of systems and what kind of we can use for people to share disposable income. Um, oh yeah, Sam, I think you I think you provided some some help. So I'm mixing two uh, two dates together, right? Two weeks together, I think. Because you you gave us the uh, example of this uh, credit card uh, yeah. system. Yeah. Well, we carried the discussion into the last week, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. So that was two weeks ago. The, I, I wasn't there last week. I think the, the main uh, thing that I took away from the call two weeks ago is that it's not really the funds for people's disposal, mm -hmm. but it's, um, it's actually, it's not like a money tree. So the difference between yeah, the money yeah, exactly, exactly that. versus people saying, Hey, I want to do this and others who have conviction, kind of staking their own funds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. But uh, we evolved a little bit from there. Uh, we, we, we agree to make a move together in the Gitcoin platform. We have to, to have a, a Gitcoin experience. Uh, yes. Taudau. Yes. Yes. Taudau is already having this experience. Otopi is going to have this experience. And I propose us to have a bundle there, a collection where in this collection is going to be Taudau, it's going to be Utopia, it's going to be Sensorica, it can be Wisp, right? That what Laudi is working on. And uh, it can be uh, the project that Sam is, is, is trying to convey to. But, uh, well, uh, we, we talk about this, right? But uh -huh. we, we talk too about the, the, the way that Sensorica does the the grant machinery like like uh, you nest uh, uh, this this enterprise you nest this project this initiative and uh, in, in a very community backing or community service way uh, uh, you start you start unveiling right you start unveiling what what are the demands for what and what type of grant service uh, can be interesting for this or that and uh, and uh, to really uh, let's say evolve evolve the 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 project the endeavor or the initiative right uh, so that that was a what i understand of what you shared remember to be you shared yeah there's a workflow yes yeah there's a yeah. workflow yeah and i said well we could start with utopia because uh, utopia is already uh, it's very organic it's uh, not so organic it's it's organic as taldao but has a more organizational form right because we use the o2 method uh, social technology i don't know if you guys are aware of the o2 o2 is like a social sociocracy and it's a mix of sociocracy with holacracy holacracy so it's a mix of those so Mm -hmm. Utopia has circles, has rows, and, and things like that. 
and uh, Taudal doesn't have nothing of this, as you know. So uh, Taudal is much more, in this sense, organic and interactive, and uh, uh, in, the, in the sense of the, the fluidity of, of, uh, of the, the co-creation of things, right? And uh, 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 Utopia is all, all already is, is also too organic, interactive, but you, you have these dynamics of who energizes what roles, right? And what circles and uh, w how the things are coming along, right? So, and uh, that said, I, we, and we, we, I thought that we were going to have, a, let's say, a first encounter, a first gathering with, uh, with Florian or, and the others and uh, uh, my, my fellow co-creators of Utopia, but that didn't happen. So we could put this for the next week, I don't know. If, if you if you feel that's okay for you TV in this first uh, and for you too Laudi and for you too Sam because this is open right this is not something that me and TV is going to do with it's, this is very open to, to everybody to come along so yeah I, I also wanted to uh, do a uh, Gitcoin uh, stuff uh, for Sensorica and uh, uh, we need to find the time to uh, so let's do some work parties because I'm yeah. behind yeah. some schedules yeah, yeah. We can do for this next week. We can do a work party related to only to Gitcoin. We can do a work party related to Utopia and Sesorica, This 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 pairing, right? Uh, uh, this uh, pro you see, I, I see this as a, 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 a very like if if Ugu was with us here, I would say it's a very uh, symbiotic move, right? <laughs> a very yeah. It's not we're not doing a partnership, like right? we're doing a symbiotic move to to approximate to 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 make this sensorica and utopia like its membrane right starting to talk <laughs> and mm. starting to inter interwoven and starting to interface and uh, that's what uh, I, 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 I I'm you see what I, I really understand as different from what we see out there uh, especially in the third sector is that we're not doing partnerships right uh, uh, in, in an organizational form with contracts and things like that we're, we're doing something very organic like two cells or two molecules <laughs> two, two molecules that are coming together and <laughs> starting some stigma some some symbiosis and starting to merge right and uh, that's how I see uh, the, the type of movement the type of experience experiment that we're going to do together I don't know if you see that way, TB. I think that is more. Uh, you're more a process guy. You're more systemist. You, you, you understand. You see value in systematizing. That doesn't mean that I don't see. I see too. But I think that mm -hmm. this this is the type of experience that uh, we have to be open to do it. So if we are not open to do it, we we simply don't do it, right? We we simply it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Because we always going to do in the in the formal ways. And, oh, so you do this, I do this, yeah, and we can do this together, yeah. That's not it, right? <laughs> well, you're going to try to really trying to do this symbiosis thing, right? Like uh, it's already happening with Taudao, and uh, it's starting to happen with Utopia, with other dynamics, and that's it. I think that that that's the gist that's the gist of it. I, I think that's what we really talked uh, uh, in the last touchdown. Yeah. So, do you remember anything else? I don't. <laughs> I think yeah, that's it. That's what we talk, and uh, so. Uh, that's it folks uh today uh, we could we could expand we have a lot of things i could i could talk about the beta phase that utopia as a whole is going uh, now in october and uh, i could talk too about uh, the, the concept of a a, a, a blockchain that uh, a, a, a arose from last week to this to this, for this week in, in utopia's environment and uh, but a, a very different type of of blockchain because uh, we are going to fork some blockchains, right? Mm -hmm. we're going to fork some blockchains, and uh, this 
we're going to have some codes from different blockchains that uh, uh, will be able to talk with Polkadot, will be able to talk with Binance, will be able to talk with uh, Uniswap, with everyone, and we're going to create a, a liquidity pool. Uh, but not this liquidity pool is not for speculation, is not for the the betterment, let's say, of tokens per se, like like uh, you have in conventional exchange, the centralized exchange, right? In, in centralized exchange, what happens? You have this proposal to invest tokens in a liquidity pool, and the algorithms they they work for, let's say, the the uh, intelligent artificial intelligence thing of, of the side of things, the, the AI algorithms, the bots, they work to to let's say to to, uh, to better value these tokens, right? So they they you put some tokens, but they come up, let's say, in a month or, or, or a week or 15 days. They you have the opportunity, or to to buy or to sell, right? So you can earn some money, let's say, some some valuated crypt cryptos, right? So that's the conventional way of doing liquidity tokens. And, and liquidity is too for th those folks who who put their fiat money or put their crypto right uh, to facilitate uh, transactions between cryptos or, or fiat and cryptos right so so these folks uh, they receive some some fees to do this so the conventional way of thinking liquidity pool, pools is this way uh, and but we uh, in Utopia we, we, we start uh, thinking that we can do a liquidity pool, uh, 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 pool related to uh, concrete things, concrete things, things that you're doing in society, right? So, uh, in the case of Utopia, is the is the regeneration game, right? For people to transition from extractive life to a, a regenerative life, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, knowing about uh, zero waste concepts and practices, knowing about uh, uh, permaculture, uh, whatever, right? And uh, not only that. Right? We're we're expanding with uh, we're starting to expand with with uh, threefold that you know TB. We started to expand the the Web three infrastructure and culture imprint here in Brazil, right? So uh, so in this sense, uh, Florian that you know and others are doing uh, TFT. That's the token of threefold, uh, the, the vesting of TFT tokens. So this money that is already flowing in uh, is serving to us for for us to expand the nodes of threefold through favelas, through the countryside where where the the actual corporate web two doesn't get. So we're starting to mm -hmm. do this work, and this place here is going to be one node because here's the countryside of Minas Gerais, and uh, and uh, if I'm having a good web access here is because <laughs> we 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 we, uh, we managed to to have some antennas here <laughs> and we managed to hack the main the main server we're really hacking the main server of the the main the main provider here of, of telecommunications here in Minas so if we I go down at any moment <laughs> it's because we're hacking it <laughs> so uh, we, we're starting so in Utopia as we we establish new nodes right new decentralized nodes and favelas and countryside and everywhere uh, all over brazil even in amazon uh, uh, this money uh, for people uh, that doesn't have the the resources right uh, to to set up the nodes or have the boxes like uh, like holochain you have the boxes or you have the software right? uh, to establish the nodes uh, is going to come from this tft tokens vesting that we start to do and a part of this money is going to this liquidity pool tokens, right? This this uh, this liquidity pool that we're going to have, so that uh, folks in the countryside in favelas, if they want to start something using TFT or using the the OS tokens that uh, uh, we're we're going to start to mint too in in this this meta, let's say blockchain that I. We're calling uh, Utopia Smart Chain, <laughs> Smart <laughs> Chain, right? And uh, uh, so folks can trade that for fiat money and other cryptos. So 
you can start using it and you, you're going to have uh, uh, ways to to change uh, uh, let's say the TFTs that you are receiving because you're running your nodes and uh, you're sustaining the web tree there right uh, you're going to ha have a way to to change this TFT for fiat money right and uh, here in Brazil right so that's it I I'm, I'm not good as I don't know if I I, 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 I was able to 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 share with you guys the the access of the movement that OTP is doing but uh, it's uh, it's a way to be very inclusive with with folks that doesn't have bank accounts folks that doesn't have uh, uh, you see there are very in that not poverty line per se but is very near the poverty line and uh, we're going to start doing this in, in, in with grassroots movements too so that's it just sharing a little bit for you folks know what what uh, in, in what sense because when I say beta for Topia I'm saying all, not only the, the the app that's going to beta but all the ecosystem all the environment of Topia is is starting to have footprints you see TB and loading we're starting to have all sorts of footprints and it's going to be nice to have this to to be near sensorica and 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 you tb and sensorica and you louding everyone had the opportunity to see this unveiling this rap happening here in brazil right so that's it well, when you said about a liquidity pool of, uh, of um, more tangible things uh, what uh, can you give an example of that yeah uh, I just I just said uh, you see uh, when someone uh, uh, tr uh, opens and config configures a node of three folds web tree right with Photopia uh, he's 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 giving he's he's giving uh, uh, he's giving a real link to his reality right uh, to where he is uh, in, the, in the social uh, the social world in the region that he lives in right and uh, this is a way this is a way uh, uh, for this guy that doesn't have a good internet access that depends of, of the type of work that uh, he doesn't receive uh, the sufficient even for his survival and uh, and to be inclusive right so you are inclusive with with not only one people one folk but you're inclusive for whole communities or whole little cities right so we we're going to do this with a lot of little cities here in brazil uh, that doesn't have a good internet access that uh, that depends on the political schemes that depends on who detains the economical power and the, their in their region uh, to have uh, jobs or to earn money in the sense so uh, we're using the web tree right web 3.0 as a way mm -hmm. to to uh, provide a type of internet that uh, respects individuality is is uh, is cryptographic and as you know and uh, he, he can do all sorts of transactions right so yeah uh, and uh, peer to peer transactions right so uh, when wh what i'm saying is that as we doing tft tokens vesting right that this tft tokens is related threefold right uh the yeah. money that is coming in 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 ethers and and and, and satoshis and bitcoins and, and fiat money uh we're going to really put this money as a uh, at the disposal uh to invest in this, these folks that doesn't have the capability to do this right so mm -hmm. uh, so the liquidity tokens is that liqu the liquidity pool is going to be related to this right so not only this but this too so uh, that's the way to be i don't know if i i was able to <laughs> explain better now. no I, th I thought that you, you're going to extend it to some other things uh, uh, more than just uh, um uh three uh network and hardware yeah yeah hardware yeah that's it that's it Anthony be very welcome my friend uh, we're going to stand to to hardware for those that, that doesn't have the, the the money to buy hardware or to buy the boxes 
or th if there's a need to put a box there right so the money will be there for those who don't have the money to do this and they're going to be become farmers right because uh, as the those who are investing right in in, in threefold and becoming farmers the these folks via utopia they are become farmers too but we are going to include them because uh, they actually wouldn't become farmers because they don't have the let's say the actual capital <laughs> to invest. Yeah, yeah. In, yes. So that this is a way, right? Another way we're going to have a regenerative ethical market, right? So uh, we want to be able to back people uh, to put their experiences, their products, and their services in this market. So. Uh, uh, so this liquidity pool is going to back to folks that uh, doesn't have, let's say in the conventional way, the money to develop their products or to put it, this money will be able, will be there for them too. So uh, it, it's, as you know, it's a very collaborative, interactive, a cooperative way of doing things because uh, we're not uh, inciting, let's say, uh, competition beyond uh, beyond no one. We understand that this type of market, this type of regen, regenerative ethical markets, it, it, it can be run in a very collaborative, uh, in a very interactive and collaborative and cooperative way, right? So we're going to do this too. So this liquidity pool, to, uh, this liquidity pool is to is to back this operation too. The yeah. To give so, uh, this is very recent, right? I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, and Anthony, I'm not talking here about Tao Dao, I'm talking here about Utopia, okay? This is another uh, regenerative endeavor uh, that's very different from Tao Dao, <laughs> but it has the same purple purpose. So, uh, and that's it. So, uh, this is very fresh, guys. This is not. Uh, this is just starting to be being let's say co-created right? and uh, and uh, uh, we are very excited to do this because uh, one of the things that we feel uh, is that uh, there's a lot of people that doesn't have a clue about what is peer-to-peer -peer, right what is uh, regenerative movements or, or nothing like that and people that suffers a lot with this old system right that we still live in so uh we're very excited to do this move right uh, through the countryside of brazil a lot of states and through favelas in in big urban cities but is there something that people put on top of this uh, network or uh, not yet like any yeah you see in three uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to have a uh, uh, interchange between this meta blockchain that Utopia is starting to uh, you remember Atus Atus that was here with us Atus Atus is the coder of Utopia of course. Is, yes Atus is, is the coder is the programmer that is starting to do this work so I asked him if he could be here today but he's with his daughter he is so it was uh, for him to better explain this because he has this more uh, chewable in his in his mind, and uh, <clears throat> but I, I think that I, I I could I was able to share the access with you guys with with the what what type yeah. of movement we're we're doing right as Utopia, and <clears throat> and once more Utopia has this organizational uh, uh, dynamics of O2 uh, social technologies methodologies, but it's organic as you know TV. And 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 so uh, everything that Utopia is doing, it can be off. It's open source, of course. It can be uh, done by Sensorica, by Anthony, uh, by Lauren. Oh, by the way, we forgot we forgot to say that last week in this in this work that we're going to do in Gitcoin, we're going to have the hardware side of it uh, with Anthony, right? And uh, Anthony, I, I I I forgot to the the name of your. Do you have a name for your endeavor, uh, or you don't have a name for it? My my little manufacturing machine. Um, I call it the Manufacture Tron. But this, oh, the title. Oh yeah, on, you, 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 you Yeah, you shared. Yeah, you shared that in Autopia. I, I remember now. Yeah. You what? In Autopia. Yeah, Manufacture Tron. Yes. But not in Autopia. 
Yeah, you are. There's little connection with OTP as far as I can remember. Well, let me see if I'm... I'm I might be wrong or uh, I'm here in Utopia. Let's oh, right, you started a uh, channel and I introduced myself, I think. Yeah. Yeah, here you go, man. Here it is. Uh, All right. You are here, man. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. I did something and I forgot about it even. Hello, I think it is here. Yeah, we. I, I, I asked you to do this and you did. Uh, let me see. Okay. okay. Here, a lot, of, a lot of folks here. <laughs> oh, yeah, good to see you've got a good collection there, dude. Was that from recent uh, posts? That's from. There's some back in September. Okay, here yeah. you go. Here you go, Anthony. Here you go. Yeah, Hig local. Yeah, mm -hmm. here you go. Yes. Remember your nickname? Yeah, manufacturer though. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I didn't see your reply. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I give you a reply. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so the folks already know about you. Uh, okay. Uh, that's great. Uh, TB didn't do his 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 introduction, but that's okay. And Lauri even isn't isn't here, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's okay too. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm here. Yeah, you're here. I know, but you're not in 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 Utopias or Taudaus uh, Discord. But that's okay, Lauri. No problem. And, uh, do people? Oh, you have tips too. Uh, okay. Do. Well. Uh, yeah, pretty so, good. So uh, I have been talking a lot a lot about Taudaus, and I think that it was important for you folks to to get a, a better understanding of the proposal. And I was not so talking so much about Utopia. Now I'm going to start to talk more about Utopia because Utopia is in the brink to, to go to beta and do a lot of interesting things. And this movement is going to, I understand, TB, we can do this with the wealth transfer, uh, this wealth transfer dynamics that we're going to start to do within us, right? Within us. And it's going to be nice to have Sensorica and manufacture tone and everything loading is wisp and everything loading is involved with uh, in this dynamic so and I think that we 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 agree here uh, Anthony is to do uh, work parties uh, uh, next week we're going to do a work party at Friday not only to, because we, we have a lot of material right a lot of touchdowns to to better extract uh, what we unveil there, right, in this conversation. Okay. So we're going to start. What are we going to work on then? What? What, what are we going to work on? Well, What's we have. A, we, I'm going to put the material in a drive, in a in a, in a Gmail drive, and uh, okay. I, I'm going to share the login and password with you, of course. And uh, we go, uh, audio, uh, and the uh, login said to me that to put the audio files there. So we can work uh, with these audio files, and in parallel, we can do the uploads of this content for a, a YouTube account that uh, uh, I have been working with. Right, so uh, so we have this material available for folks. Right, yeah, it's going to be nice. And the TB, uh, you know Walter? I, I talked with Walter yesterday. Walter, yes. man, Walter is an impact investor, Anthony, and here in Brazil. Uh, he, uh, he's a sort of a, uh, let's say, you, you don't have a lot of impact investors in Brazil, okay? <laughs> but he, he's among one of this, this, this that really puts, really invests in things that uh, uh, is related to sustainability. Let's say is related to to social inclusion, right? So he has done uh, a really interesting work here. Uh, his portfolio is quite big. Do you remember TB his portfolio? He has a lot of not only him and, and his other, other other partners. He has a lot of things, and he's very open uh, to understand what type of experiment that we're starting to do. And uh, and he said he he said to me, well, say to me the day that is good to me to come uh, to better understand what your guys are up to. That uh, I'm in. We can do this together. So 
I think that Walter will be with us <laughs> doing this movement TV, so that's good. That's a good thing. So that's it. Yep. Uh, well, we, we're going to move uh, a little forward with uh, the the funding plans and see how we could uh, plug that into into um, impact investing as well. Because last last or two weeks ago, we had some meetings with some impact investing people and um, we had a value proposition for them. Oh, sorry. That was in relation with the Greens for Good and... Um, yeah, it's it's all tied into the, the the funding, the funding community service. So we'll see. But I'm uh, I'm looking forward to uh, maybe um, I don't know whenever you have time to. Not necessarily next Friday, but we can do it next Friday morning too. But you know to have these um, these um, work parties. Uh, I'm looking at Bitcoin here. I need some help because I don't understand the uh, the platform. Uh, it seems that a lot of things. So it would be nice to have, um, you know, some um, some work that we can we can do together. Yeah, sure. It's like uh, uh, helping each other, so we accelerate, you know, the uh, the work. Did you tell them, TB? Uh, we undertook the centrifuge project now, so we have a, a one more thing on our plate, I guess. Yeah. Well, it turns out that uh, this Greens for Good project uh, is spinning out another little project that can stand alone yeah. and it's one module of of this protein extractor okay. um, that can can be can be a, a you know a standalone device um, and so um, Anthony started to 3d model it and we'll do some um, um, experiments here at the Sensorica lab with a very small version, a 3D printed version, uh, which will teach us about, uh, you know, the, some half of the, uh, <clears throat> of the real thing. And then, uh, and then move, move forward to decide, this, decide how to prototype it in, in, in using better materials. Um, so this is about uh, a decanter. Um, it's a it's a device that helps you extract water from um, some muddy sludge material, um, but also pack some some fluids, um, juice, wine, whatever. Um, so it's a centrifuge essentially. It's a centrifuge um, that spins a liquid and and separates the solids but it does it in a continuous way. Um, it's not a batch process. You don't have to pour a liter and then extract the fluid and clean the solid material and then start the process again. It's continuous. Uh, you just flow through um, a certain volume per second of this liquid and, and then you get the solid and the liquid separated on the other side. Um, and you don't have to stop and clean anything. That's the, you know, that's the, that's the idea. These things exist uh, industrially, but um, we're trying to scale it down and see if we can, if we can make an open, an open source do-it-yourself device. Mm. This can very well be suited for, um, you know, communities in, in Brazil, uh, village scale, people that do, uh, that uh, fruits for juice and uh, they want to clarify um, beverages, you know, fermented beverages or whatever. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. So we're, we're just, uh, we're just starting with that. It's pretty exciting. Um, um, Anthony shared his first uh, files and today I'm uh, ordering some parts for the 3D printer because we're um, I want to change the... Uh, yeah, term because you see, you see, TB, uh, a way to uh, make uh, this first to prototype, this first... Pro I don't know if it's, if, if it's the first one, this juicer is the first one, is the first, is the first uh, let's say, open source type of open source ecology type thing that uh, Green for Goods is doing, right? Am I right? Yeah. 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 And uh, 
we can we, all this work that we're going to do with little cities here in Brazil in favelas yeah and uh, via utopia we can literally put this uh, as part of the of the uh, of the as as a technology as an open source technology that mm -hmm. is 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 there to be to be uh, sh shareable so folks can can use this right so for, for their micro uh, economic experiments right so uh because it, it's 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 uh it's something that is re related to a is very regenerative too right so uh uh, the juicer man so it's, it's 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 interesting to see the creativity what type of use that folks will do or what what or other types of products i don't know they're going to with this gambiaha culture this here is going they're going to yeah. come up with so it's going to be nice yeah, yeah. it's um it's a challenge uh uh, let's see where he goes. Actually, what why we're doing it is to see if it's possible. If it's po we do it is to see first if it's possible to do it at that scale, um, and how how easy it would be to make it um, manufacturable every everywhere. Um, so this is the kind of thing we want to learn. There's nothing to invent because this thing already exists. Um, but the question is that you know can can people make it? In a village, using some local shops, um, using the available technology at that at that scale, um, is it possible to to come up with a design that can be made, okay, by by people? And you don't need like high tech industry from Germany with the kind of steel that you know. Um, can yeah, we, uh, I got it totally. Uh, Anthony, j j just uh, uh, I I'm curious here. Uh, the proposal of the manufacturing is uh, is to have uh, is the, is the finishing is, is the finishing of the of the tooling of the tools of the of the of, of what you're imprinting, right? Uh, uh, the quality of it. A am I wrong? Uh, uh, or am I? Right, am I wrong? the tools. You're talking about what's the quality of the part going to be able to make? You think? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 um, I got that from what you share with us uh, last week. Uh, oh, yeah, that the quality is a little bit limited, eh, with 3D printing? Yeah, I know that it's limited, but you, you, you were focusing in, 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 in better, in, 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 in the betterments of the quality. Yeah, that's his machine. That, that's, your, that's your fabrication machine. Yeah. So I'm hopeful that the manufacturing channel will be able to give much higher quality parts, both in terms of material qualities, so strength and elasticity, and um, they're going to be fully solid, but also in terms of the dimensional accuracy. So they're nice and smooth, they're nice and accurate, the parts should be ready. just right off the bat. With 3D printing, you can get that to some degree, but you have to send all the parts and you have to like adjust everything. And it's pretty hard. But, but, but is this a, a more specialized thing that is not everyone that can reproduce this can, 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 can build a manufacturer or you need some very specialized skills to do this? No, I mean, um, it's more expensive than a, a cheapy 3D printer, but it's going to be a lot cheaper than an expensive 3D printer. Like 3D printing is an enormous range of different processes and there's a lot of different types of machines that do that, right? So it's kind of hard to talk about it. But um, I mean, uh, the machine tools are very common in the world. Like uh, they have, they certainly have them in Brazil over there. They've got plenty of CNC machine tools. That's where like 95% of all manufacturing actually happens mm -hmm. with CNC machine tools. And there's a lot of people who know how to use them and it's not really that hard to learn. I learned how to do it and what's not hard. Um, no, it's not a specialized skill set. It doesn't take a whole lot of math or anything else, really. It's just a, a small book with not everything you need to know inside of it. Yeah, because but, but you, you of, of course it's open source, right? So uh, yeah. fo folks can reproduce this uh, whatever uh, in whatever part of the planet, right? So uh, what I'm asking is that uh, could we include the manufacturing in this dynamics that we're going to start to do in favelas? in countryside here in brazil sure i don't see why not it's like um it's more like a machine that's made for like a community rather than a, a single household yeah because it's yeah. kind of a little bit big and expensive for a single person to own and operate so it's what even better what you just said is even better because 
we're going to yeah. work with with tribes with indigenous tribes we're going to work with uh, with communities with very little cities so yeah i mean just ask yourself um have you ever thought of getting 3d printers involved in that operation um if there's an application for 3d printers there's even more of an application for manufacturing time basically because it can do everything a 3d printer can do but more yeah so uh, okay okay i'm just asking because uh, i think that uh, it makes a lot of sense for communities so uh, yeah great question um it's definitely community oriented it's not for these um people with who want a machine to put in their basements and manufacture stuff in their basements it's too expensive yeah. Yeah, uh, it's um, a lot of things are like that because the technology is not uh, so well developed. So you can have tabletop, high quality manufacturing, you know, or processing tools. Um, so it came down to from the, in the industrial range, I think, to village range, mm. because it's, it still requires a fair amount of um, resources to build some to build machines that that have that. that with a good quality you know so that's also the that's also the focus for for the uh and and, and have some economy of scale that's also the focus with the uh the greens for good um, um protein extractor right yeah it's to, to make it for uh, the size of the of a village that can process the stuff that the villages produces and the villages cons the village consumes right yeah that's village good. scale is much more sensible than like an individual scale there's a lot of this historical precedent for people talking about 3D printers, they think everybody's going to have their own machine. Yeah. And that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense because no. it's too distant. There's, there's got to be an intermediate ground where you have a machine that's more expensive and complicated than makes sense for any one person to have. And then yeah. look at the entrepreneur that operates it out of the garage or something like that. Well, what type of, of uh, what, what, uh, what can we in we can print with manufacturing in a community for a community scale what are you envision i think i know that it, it can be a lot of things but how are you envision envisioning this happening like what kind of finished products you would make yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um well you can say like bicycles or bicycle parts because you can make airless tires you could when i say you can make i mean i'm very hopeful that it will work well to make these things but we don't actually have a machine yet so I don't promise too much, but yeah, um, like airless tires would be one thing that would be great. Um, you can make most of the bicycle. You can't make the ball bearings that go on the bicycle, um, but you could make, you could either make crappy bearings that would wear out after a couple of years, or you could make, um, just buy the bearings and you add the bearings, right? Um, you can make the wheels, um, you figure out the brakes probably with linkages instead of these um, flexible cables that we usually use. Uh, this, I've seen designs in, in that um, where they use a rigid linkage actually works pretty well. Um, you can make engines of various kinds. You can make, uh, but you can also work your way up the chain, like, because you can make a lot of the parts of the machine itself. You can make another CNC router. Um, not all of the CNC router, but you can make a large fraction of it. Um, you probably want to buy the motor, but uh, maybe the stepper motors and the bearings. But the linear sliding weights, uh, you can make hydrostatic linear slides. You could make um, hydrostatic um, uh, lead screws. Which actually are great. They're even better than ball screws. They're nice and smooth, and they're very accurate. They never wear out. And they're actually quite nice. Um, you make that stuff out of uh, fiber reinforced polymers, so it's nice and strong. But it copies the mold very accurately, so you get a very accurate part. There's actually a number of companies that already do that. You make um, parts of CNC machine tools out of the exact same material as the fiber reinforced polyurethanes. Mm -hmm. um, so that works great for that. And um, also the farm equipment. Like if you want to make um, stuff for harvesting garlic and stuff, like right now you can buy equipment. If you have a gigantic farm that grows nothing but garlic or acre upon acre, then you can buy a machine that'll help you harvest the garlic. But you can't buy a smaller machine. So you have these people doing market gardening and small scale gardening, and they, mm -hmm. they can't really do it economically because they have no machinery at all. They have to do either everything by hand, or you can buy a gigantic machine for a hundred thousand bucks. But there's nothing in between. So. Um, we can also design stuff that doesn't have planned obsolescence built in nearly as much. Um, so because it doesn't have this rent seeking stuff built in, it's just inherently better and it's not actually more difficult to design. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be kind of nice. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it, there's stuff like furniture that you wouldn't really bother making with this because it'd be too expensive. So you wouldn't make furniture. You just keep making that out of wood probably, but you can help the saws. Saws, if you want to make a saw, you could um, mm -hmm. do a lot of different parts of a saw. You wouldn't be able to make a blade really. You could make um, Whoa, that's, uh... an approximate blade and then you have to sharpen it afterwards. But um, yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff you can make, but um, not electronic electronics with it. But yeah. I imagine it as a very significant part of a... Um... For, uh, for instance, for crops, uh, because we, we here, where I am now, here in, yeah. in Minas Gerais state, I'm the countryside of Minas Gerais. Uh, this is a very rural area. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you, you folks can see. It's a very yeah, it looks like a nice place to be. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Very rural area. And uh, um, here, we're hacking the... The, the main uh, the main uh, uh, telecom provider here so because you don't have internet here so we uh, we have some guys in Utopia that like uh, Atos that know how to hack so I'm hacking the main server so I can make this <laughs> yeah I know yeah you can't hack it. Animal, they're gonna catch you and change your system that's the thing right <laughs> yeah but uh, we, we, we're going to do a web 3 thing here uh, we're not we're, but there's a lot of places like this in Brazil, right? Brazil is a continental country, as you know, and uh, a lot of uh, Huru, uh, the Huru scene uh, of, of, of families that dedicate themselves to, to crops and things like that, to, to it's huge, right? And uh, and we're going to start to to uh, uh, to make available. Uh, Type of internet they don't that doesn't cost uh, their their the, the money they, they earn yeah we, we're going to start with the web 3 web 3.0 technology uh, type okay. of internet right so uh we're uh, and uh, the thing that is that uh, it's going to be nice uh, to have some open source software and hardware at the disposal so um, what i'm asking what uh, what can manufacturer don't do for for folks that live on on doing plantations and crops right so uh, what type of equipment or, or things that we can print uh, that can help them um well i was uh, lucky to go wolfing in a rural Ontario. they have a similar situation there except they have better access to the global supply chain but um they do try to repair and fix their own stuff as much as they can and they would try to make their own stuff but they really can't because there's nothing they can do they even simple parts are basically impossible to make mm -hmm. um you can machine them but it's not economical and so i would say if you just if you just walk around and or consider anything that's um homogeneous object there's only one type of material and um you can draw it in cad and um it can be about as strong as aluminum the fiber reinforced plastics we can also cast uh, metals out of we can cast aluminum and we can cast zinc uh, can't cast steel yet because the mold material can't really stand the steel, steel temperature but eventually we might be able to do that um so what can you make i mean you can make most of the parts you would if you took a, an existing vehicle or an existing piece of farm equipment and you dismantled it and you looked at each of the parts and said okay which which parts can i make and which parts i can't Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be able to make a large fraction of the parts because a lot of the parts have multiple materials in them and they're kind of, they've been assembled and glued together or, or mm -hmm. welded together in some way or another, which is not really practical, but you could definitely design like a new piece of equipment that used um, a different approach and you could make almost all of the parts with manufacturer time, right? So it's not just the machine isn't going to be able to let you clone everything right away, but it's going to enable... Um, us to redesign and produce all kinds of stuff, including stuff which is just as good as. Well, that's that's what it is because the the tools that we use today are designed in a way to make us dependent of the same manufacturer or yeah. of the their own service points. Yes, yeah, rent. Um, yeah, so you know, um, it's like Apple. It's not made for you to change the battery right uh, or to upgrade for use and then you throw it away and uh, and buy a new one so so that's the, the whole philosophy of designing things um to answer your question i think 
um, you are there and you should look at people and for example uh, start from scratch say um, is there any labor intensive repetitive activity that you have okay um, what takes you too much time to do and you have to do weekly or you know monthly and these are the types of activities that you want to mechanize you want to automate some way or you want to build a machine okay to, to do it to do it more, more efficiently because if you do something over and over again and and it's uh, it's labor intensive it's repetitive you know it that's the thing that it makes sense to automate yeah. so so uh, sometimes you go into these villages and for example they they process cassava you know um you know it's um you know this root right well um it's very labor intensive you know um to process that thing um and yet the women in villages they do it every single day um they get together and they and, and they do it and that's what they eat you know so so um but they don't they don't know better i mean they don't know better they don't they haven't you know been introduced to to other ways and sometimes it's a cultural barrier you know um making food you get two women, three women together while well, they do that activity. There is a social exchange, some you know, interaction, talking happening. So, so it also has other social functions other than just making the food. Um, so you don't want to extract, you don't want to take it out of context. Okay. So there's in some cases there's this cultural resistance. Okay, to automate, um, and if you take that that activity away, it takes away a whole social social dimension. Um, but but. Having said that, you know, there's, there's, you can identify these activities that can be automated. And then some people, they, they do have tools for them. For some, they don't exist. And the whole thing here is to, to, say, to say, how can we design now the tools, redesign the tools or design from scratch if they don't exist, um, that first match their culture and, um, and, uh, and, also, and also are made not to create dependencies, but are, are designed for, for, for kind of new fabrication tools, okay? Mm -hmm. So they're not designed for uh, being centrally produced in China and shipped, uh, you know, in all the corners of the world. Uh, it's not a mass production design. Uh, when you design something, you have to keep in mind how this thing is produced, mm -hmm. okay? And how it's used. So, so, so you design it so that it's made to be produced with, with, the, with the democratic tools that we have, the 3D yeah. printers, uh, machines that Anthony is making, you know. Um, <clears throat> we really have to redesign everything from scratch uh, in the world if we want to localize the economy, uh, move away from, you know, um, these, these, these global markets, um, things that are made in China and shipped everywhere. If we want to move away from that, we have to... Um, we have to really redesign stuff. We have to look yeah. at uh, all the tools that exist and say, well, how can I redesign this so that it can be, all the parts can be available locally, you know? That is the, that is the do-it-yourself open source approach. It's exactly that. It's saying, what do I have locally as materials? What capabilities of fabrication and assembly I have locally? And then let me make something that match. If you need to go to Germany to, to, to produce a, a, a piece, then you fail because you know and might not be as might not be as durable as efficient as the machines that are produced by these big industries um but uh, there's still a game yeah 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 man i i got yeah i i got this i got it totally because this is something that i i, I already had the perspective about uh anthony here brazil uh we utilize a lot bamboo. Bamboo is a very is a, is a, is a is a is a nature is a natural source of it's very resistant, right? And you can do a lot of things and parts and, and I don't what bamboo what bamboo. Oh, bamboo bamboo okay, yeah yeah okay. bamboo yeah. And here in this place that I have, we have a a lot of bamboo here, all sorts of bamboo, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, Actually, the house that I'm I'm in is is made of bamboo, <laughs> so uh, that I'm, I'm I'm sleeping, right? So, uh, 
this type of material is it, is it possible to be to use bamboo uh, not in the in a natural form of course with manufacturing or is not made for that um you can use it as reinforcing fibers there's um you can you can shred the bamboo and use the cellulose fibers as reinforcing fibers but um it's not very strong so i mean if you want to make a larger object it might make sense like a piece of different thing you could mix it with cement or something and then you can make it with that but uh, manufacturer turn only makes molded objects so um you can't make stuff out of wood unless you're going to use the fibers as reinforcing fibers really interesting you, could, you can make there's um there's some derivatives of they call it they pretend you can buy socks made out of bamboo or whatever but it's actually uh, rayon it's the uh, cellulose acetate they use the cellulose as the feedstock for the process but they get the cellulose from bamboo and then they claim that the product is made from bamboo when it's not actually made from bamboo at all but um rayon would make good reinforcing fibers but it takes a whole chemical engineering plant to make that stuff because there's a lot of bamboo here <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yeah. Yes, a I mean, um, the manufacturer tron is more like up, it's higher. It's kind of higher up the production chain. Like, um, do you have some ex schematics of it? Can, you can show um, it. I have, uh, well, I mean, it's just a router. I mean, I can show you on my screen um, the approximate approach. Oops, did I lose you guys? No? Okay, the sound stopped for a second. Okay, no, because one. someone is using uh, a sour here, so. Yeah, can you see my auto, uh, my manufacturing yeah. one? Or sorry, that's the that's the centrifuge I was showing you earlier. Mm -hmm. And then uh, here we go in the manufacturer. So if I have the old. Uh, the previews for the. Fusion 360 are very good. They don't show very good. It's hard to tell which parts which, but it's just a router with um, it's just a router with a deposition apparatus on the outside. So I can show you our router. What did I? be in here. I probably deleted it because it was so big. Well, here's my apparatus for testing for the deposition of the powder. It's just like um, this is the piston here and then the stuff goes in there. What is the, what is the dimensions of this? What, what are the um, that's only a little one. It's uh, see, I think that's 30 centimeters in diameter. Oops. Inspection thing. That is just a tool to for him to study the properties of materials that he uses, right? Yeah. Um, let me show you what the machine. Can you see my screen still? Yeah. Is it is it showing the fusion or is it showing my browser? Fusion. Oh, okay. Um, let me get it. I'll show my browser. I think. Uh, you have to stop sharing screen and then yeah, you share again and yeah. tell it what to Does that work? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's the 3040 router that I was going to buy. What do they look like here? They're pretty common and cheap. They're about uh, 1500 bucks each. So here we go. Here's here. This is a better picture. Here, do you see that? Yeah. AliExpress. Yes, yeah, I was going to buy it on Alibaba, but whatever. So you got the. Um, well, anyway, so that's, you can see it's a little picture there anyway. So, yeah. so that would be the size. Uh, yeah, that's the size of the first prototype. I think I'll buy it. It says 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters there. Oh, you want to buy this and modify it? Yeah. So you can see, uh, well, they say uh, $409. So this, US. okay. So so you're <laughs> using a CNC machine. Oh, here we go. Shipping is 409 bucks. Okay. Um, yeah. So we use uh, this uh, router and I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to spindle for now. 
but um, you can see the way it works. Like the the spindle can go this way, and it, this carriage moves along the bed. Yeah. There's a motor here to move it, and you can see the lead screw down at the bottom here, the bottom view. And uh, then the Z axis also works. The Z axis is kind of short; it's only ten centimeters, ten centimeters. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. This is a very uh, industrialized version of, of a product, right? Uh, I I think that if I'm I I, I got it right, uh, the the manufacturer version is going to be more friendly, let's say, for folks to to um, to build it. Not any time soon, because um, when you say friendly, like these things aren't really hard to use, and they have standard parts, and the the interface is pretty simple and stuff. So it's a, it's a short learning curve, but really, I don't see much improvement to be made on the CNC machine here. It's a pretty cheap machine and it's pretty well refined. I wouldn't want to try to redesign the whole thing anytime soon anyway. I got it, got it. Um, there's, I came across uh, Carvera recently, which is a CNC machine tool that's supposed to be user-friendly. Um, but it's still on Kickstarter, right? But uh, it's it's. I tried using one of these in Vancouver called the Modella, um, and it was a very similar machine. It was a little bit bigger, but um, they try to make it user friendly, and really they just make it everything more complicated in a lot of ways. So I wouldn't want to. Yeah. So I'm doing that. It doesn't help. They 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 and they put a lot of like. Um, it's rent seeking all over again. They use a different spindle, so you have to buy their spindle. Oh, yeah. Their tools and everything, if anything breaks and you're back at square zero, you have to go back to them and you have to pay their ridiculous fees and everything. And if you get it serviced by anybody except their licensed distributor, then it's probably going to invalidate the warranty and everything else. Whereas this thing, it's just, first of all, it's way cheaper to begin with. It's it's only fifteen hundred bucks U.S. dollars, whereas this thing is going to be way way more, way more expensive, and it's just better in a lot of ways. Yeah, yes. got it, got it. Thanks, thanks, Anthony. I didn't. Uh, I was curious. <laughs> now, now, yeah, for sure. Now I, I I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Yeah. Like Einstein says, make it as simple as possible, but no simpler. <laughs> I think. Um, these companies like Carvera are trying to make it even simpler, but they're losing a lot in the process, and it's not really it's not really progress in the end. Yeah. So, guys, uh, I think that's it. Uh, we already uh, we, we we have to put our hands on now, hands on deck, in the sense that we have to do some work parties related to Gitcoin, right? Related to uh, to this. Uh, uh, this dynamics bet uh, between Sensorica and Utopia, and uh, and uh, and everything gets coin related. I don't know. I, I I think that is. Oh, this this the uh, this there is this mapping social mapping social production that Patrick is yeah. related, right? So, uh, are you seeing that we're going to enter Oven something? Uh, how do you understand this? Just to, uh, uh, because you put me and Laura in there, uh, I don't know if Anthony wants to be there too. So if, 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 can it be? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to understand better. How do you are you are you your understanding? How are we going to inter interface with this mapping social production thing that Anthony is related to? Well, so, yeah, so, so something might come out of it. You don't, you don't have to show up. I'm just uh, sh sending signals into your own networks so that you might want to do something with it. It's a, it's a mapping ex, 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 um, experience. Essentially, what we want to understand is, um, is um, uh, different models, different uh, types of of collaborative organizations, um, be it based on technology like blockchain or more organic, like like something like you do in Brazil, uh, Vinicius. Um, so what are the what are the what are the models? What are the structures of these things? 
and, and map them and ca categorize them. But what comes out of, uh, of this mapping exercise, it's also uh, what, I, what I thought is interesting for us is, um, is to see if, if there are other organizations that are complementary with us so we can build bridges, um, you know, and... Um, yeah, um, I, I got that. Yeah, and, and it's it's Good Labs, right? Good Labs is is an initiative that Patrick started with you, or yes, yeah, yeah. It's Patrick and, started on his own, yeah, yeah. And uh, if I understand well, this is some some sort of this mapping will will once it comes up, let's say once it it happens, it's is a sort of mapping the the collective intelligence around. Uh, uh, peer-to-peer -peer organizations right and, yes uh, that's it yeah but the, the, and then you can decide to do something with it you know you can decide to do uh, to extract some information and uh, navigate this ecosystem and uh, you know decide to make connections with some groups yeah and i'm, I'm going to ask laurin because i, I remember that laurin said uh, uh last week that she's going to invite Vincent to be with us, Lauren. Do you remember this? Uh, Vincent, because with, yeah. with, with the Catalyst proposed or Yeah, Vincent, Vincent is in Prague right now at a hackathon, so he can't come this week, but I'm trying to get him to come. It, it would be nice to have uh, on board uh, Vincent, I, I think. Uh, TB, I might be wrong, but uh, uh, to, to this mapping social production thing because I think he, he can add uh, he can aggregate a lot of things for, for that uh, for that who's that Hugo no, no Hugo it. Hugo yeah Hugo is going to show up next week <laughs> he said to me as Walter but uh, it's not Hugo it's Vincent remember Vincent uh, from uh, Catalyst or you weren't with us at this day you were traveling I don't know do you remember loading if uh, do you remember? Oh my God, Chibi was definitely there. Yeah, the, Chibi was. Yeah, Chibi was. You were with us, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many faces? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little. I'm a little slow today because I spent uh, <clears throat> the night at the lab here. I slept here, so <clears throat> yeah. my brain is uh, is not even uh, yeah, functioning well. Yeah, I think he's a New Yorker. Um, uh, from, from Italian origins, and uh, do you remember him uh, when, when you compared what he's trying to do with Yovian, Chibi? Uh, uh, when he when he shared with us, uh, he made a tour with us. With uh, how did he come up with Catalyst, right? And uh, and related to collective intelligence and convergence and things like that. So you, oh, oh, this is something we do here in Sasarica too. So. So, but we do with the OVN. Do you remember this, man? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. It's now it incredible. Oh, my God. Vincent is a, I think he's a mechanical engineer by training. But, um, yeah, he's, he's doing um, mapping of uh, networks and trying to okay. solve the problem. Oh, you're going, you're, how you're, going do... to re you're going to remember, I call him Vinicius. And he called me Vincent. Remember this? Oh yes, 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 yes. I remember. Now you remember. Yeah, now you remember. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Forgive me, Lauren. Yeah. But anyways, I, he's he, he's trying to solve the problem of how do people find each other across the network when um it, it's not just a question of uh, searching like a Google search because it's all emergent innovation so it's trying to get the right people uh, and the right like the right people to the right projects like people with the right skills can find the projects that they can actually be helpful to yes sounds like a difficult problem yeah it comes back rings a bell <clears throat> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I i remember if i oh, we trade names we trade now you remember yeah yes 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 <laughs> So that's it, guys. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. uh, uh, I, I just want to know, TB, you you just ping us, or I ping you guys. I don't know, or anyone ping us to to this work parties related to work party related to Bitcoin. 
and work for yeah. you to, to all <clears> the <throat> when, when do you want to do it I can, I can i can send an invitation a google invitation right now <clears throat> when is the best time for you well for me thursdays are good days thursdays, thursdays okay okay no no no, um, no 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 tuesdays tuesdays forget monday tuesday oh perfect so you have a you have a preferred uh, uh timeline so like time is... oh man so... uh, my afternoons are better my afternoons okay we have almost the same hour right yeah so i'll send almost. you a I, okay so i'll send you a sort of a you know placeholder and then we can shift around yeah it's tuesday good. okay perfect perfect tuesday yeah and uh I, you, you, you suit yourself you can do the first one related to gitcoin or if you want we can relate it to Ut utopia so suit yourself yeah uh, uh please Anthony, if you're invited in youtube loading uh, i know that loading is i'll put trend. it in the sensorica uh, for uh, this. yeah and 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 um, learn if you want to play with gitcoin for funding and then and then you had some questions about uh, the the workflow that we developed with funding so during this work uh, uh, shop we work uh, party we can also go through that yeah totally okay Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'll send you an invitation. Yeah, and uh, well, you, I think that we're going to start with Gitcoin, right? So uh, we can, I, 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 this will give me the time to manage and invite folks uh, over Utopia to be with us in the second work party, work party okay? Uh, yes. It could, it could be Friday, it could be next Friday, I don't know. What you think, Laurie? We could work on, on a work party about Utopia and Sensorica next Friday. Do you guys would be available for that do you think that's going to be good yeah yeah i can probably come yeah uh because uh atos is, is a possibility for him to be with us and uh, not only him uh florian and others and uh, is it going to be nice well guys uh so so there are two calendar invites one for well one is the wealth transfer but uh we're going to come up with uh, this 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 calendar invite. Uh, uh, it, 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 it already exists, right? We already have the calendar invite for wealth transfer <coughs> touchdowns, right? So we don't need to make a new one, right? So uh, we can be put as subject Utopia, right? So let's do this. And uh, that's it. Laurin, always a pleasure, my dear. Anthony, too. Okay. Hi guys. Bye bye. Again. Yep, I'm sending yes. you the invitation. Okay. Yeah, okay bye bye, folks. Bye everyone. Bye bye.